Okay, so derive the formula, the sine rule, which is a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. So for this one, we need a triangle where we have angles, say, a, b, and c. And then we have corresponding sides, a, b, and c. We can use the area rule for a triangle, which is half a b sine c. And we can also say that uh, another way of doing that, a half a b sine c would be a half a c sine b. Okay, so area is equal to area. Uh, we can multiply both sides by 2, that'll get rid of the half, and then divide both sides by a to get rid of the a. So I can then say b sine c is equal to c sine b. Now, if I divide both sides by b and divide both sides by c, so if I divide this side by uh, b, the b's will cancel out. And if I divide it by c, I'll just do it out. Divide by b, c, and divide by b, c. The b's here will cancel and the c's here will cancel. I'm left with sine c over c is equal to sine b over b. And then I can invert both sides to get c over sine c is equal to b over sine b. So I don't need to do it again. In the sine rule formula, it's a over sine a is b over sine b is equal to c over sine c. We only have c and b at the moment. We can just say similarly. And to get it for uh, a, we can say a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c. You don't need to go and do this. You'd just be doing the same thing uh, each time. So it's fair enough to say uh, similarly.